Hey there, I'm Officer Blue Gun, and in today's video, police confront a suspect named Hernan Gutierrez, or is it Hernan Gutierrez? You guys tell me which one you prefer. At the time of this incident, Mr. Gutierrez was on federal probation for kidnapping and drug charges. In August of 2022, Mr. Gutierrez cut off his ankle monitor and he's just been wandering around unsupervised in society ever since. Also, earlier in March, they believe that Mr. Gutierrez was involved in a stolen vehicle deal where he rammed a police car. So you know, someone who's just misunderstood and being held down by society. Just ask his attorney when he eventually sues, because, you know, God forbid the police shoot someone who does what Mr. Gutierrez is about to do. I'm just gonna play it off like we're on a call. For this incident, we'll be riding shotgun on Senior Corporal McLean's chest. He got information from the apartment manager here that Mr. Gutierrez was slamming around. That's when he called for more officers, including Officer Kimberly Esquivel, who is his primary cover officer here. Were you guys breaking into that? Man, put your hands up. What the hell? Who? Let's break the initial contact down. Corporal McLean identifies his suspect and says, Man, put your hands up. When Mr. Gutierrez begins to back away, Corporal McLean closes the distance and grabs onto Mr. Gutierrez with his right hand while holding his gun in his left. Police tend not to go hands on with a suspect when they have a gun in their hand. This is generally frowned on for a couple of reasons. First, the suspect could reach out and grab the officer's firearm, rendering it useless or disarming him. Second, is due to something called sympathetic contraction. Basically, it's the idea that forcefully using the muscles in one limb, can create an involuntary contraction of the muscles in the other limb. So grabbing onto Mr. Gutierrez could result in a negligent discharge. Pop quiz, how many shots were fired? Get out of the fucking ground. He's a bitch for a gun! This guy's got a gun! Gun! No! 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 Fuck! Oh my god! Well, if you said one, I don't blame you, but according to the Dallas police investigation, the answer is two. The shot you heard was the suspect's gun going off and his bullet struck a nearby occupied apartment. At some point in time during the struggle on the ground, Officer Esquivel drew her firearm and shot the suspect at close range, although the body cam didn't pick it up. Of course, there will be some people who claim that the Dallas Police Department's full of crap and their investigation is a fraud and that they're trying to do a giant cover up. Well, I got to tell you, that really doesn't make sense because the moment that the gun comes out here, whether or not the suspect fires it, both officers could have stepped back and completely mag dumped this guy. They were completely justified to shoot him from the get go. It was just finding the right opportunity to do it while they were trying to wrestle him for his gun. Guaranteed, there'll still be people in the comments claiming that this is a cover up. The gun is under him still. Okay. You're okay. <laughs> Both of these officers are under the effects of an acute combat stress reaction right now. Watch how they each react to it. We need an ambulance. We got the suspect down. You're okay. Here. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're, you're, you're fine, Kimberly. I'm sorry. Motherfucker. No! Don't fucking move! You're gonna get shot again, you piece of shit. Honestly, they should have just shot him for the park job on that car he was walking away from. We just need to get these handcuffs on. <laughs> no, he, the gun is still under him. Uh, okay, I got his arm. Forgive me. No, you had a chance. You're trying to okay, fucking on, kill us. <laughs> I'm just trying to get away. It doesn't matter. No, you don't. 
It's done. I got it. Don't worry. I'm going to... Okay, babe. Want to move? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Snap it off. Snap it off. Snap it off. Snap it off. So I want to be clear in this next section. I'm not trying to criticize these officers. I want to explore what an acute combat stress reaction looks like in practice, what it does to a person who has just been through a life and death situation and how it affects them and their body and their body's response to the situation. It took about a minute and 15 seconds to get those handcuffs on the suspect. It also required that two officers not involved in the shooting came over and helped. Officer Esquivel was having trouble breathing and she couldn't manipulate anything with her hands. Meanwhile, Corporal McLean was having trouble keeping focus here. And what I mean by that was that the number one priority here was to get handcuffs on the suspect and get the gun out from underneath him. He lost the suspect's hand at one point and it looked like the suspect might have been going for the gun again. Uh, and then he gets on his radio and asks for an ambulance. Well, he's got two cops coming over the fence. He could have yelled to them to call for, for a medic, uh, but instead gets on his radio and loses focus on the main priority and the main threat here. I heard a phrase that says something like, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to the lowest level of your training. And I think it applies here. I think that there was an issue with gaining control of the suspect, which created a helpless feeling for both officers, which scared the hell out of them. And this is the reaction that you're getting afterwards, where they're almost unable to act in any meaningful way. Okay. Okay. Based on the most recent update I could find, the suspect was charged with aggravated assault uh, in addition to all of his probation issues he already had. And he was in critical but stable condition in the hospital. There was another bit of body cam footage there at the end, but it was mostly just them standing around watching this guy bleed. If you want to see it, the raw footage is linked in the description below. Or if you enjoyed this video, this video right up here might itch another scratch if you want to see some more body cam footage. Anyways, until next time, take care of yourselves.